Hi friends! Today we're gonna get one step closer to finishing our Bloomcrest build series, which is basically a build series in Newcrest where each lot we build has to increase in price. Now we're all the way up to 3 million simoleons. It's been a long ride and I've been meaning to put this part out for a long time. I'm sorry, I apologize. My real life has been super stressful lately and I just haven't had the time to sit down and do such a massive build. We're finally gonna finish it up today. We're gonna be furnishing the $3 million mansion for Anna and Theo in this series and I will link the entire playlist down below so you guys can check that out because we have lore and backstories in this series and it's been really fun so I'll link that down below but let's get into the build. So here is the exterior of this monster mansion and you guys were so divided in the comments about these freaking yeah. curtains. I'm tempted to delete them. It was kind of like a, a question to see if it would look good but let's just we'll get rid of the curtains okay. <laughs> let's go inside. I'm gonna show you the layout that I've done. I did a layout for this entire place just for time purposes. So this is what the first floor is looking like. We've got over to this side a very long area that I'm gonna have for my living room. Maybe I'll do like a seating area in there, a library or something. Then we've got this main area with some platforms for the stairs which I thought looked kind of cool. So they lead up that way from the front door and then over to this side I was playing around with some platforms to kind of make it look more interesting. We're gonna have a dining room right here, a back cellar for like wine or something. This is gonna be our kitchen with maybe a bar. We can do some storage in here. I've also roughly done my flooring and wallpaper. It's not really complete yet. I kind of was just guesstimating where everything would go. But this is the second floor and the second floor is really interesting. We're gonna have a loft here with that like punch out in the floor so you're gonna be able to see down below. I put this platform here which was supposed to be in the center but that's gonna be, I might do like a fountain or something there. This second floor is gonna be mostly bedrooms. So we're gonna have bedroom, bedroom, bedroom in the back with like ensuite bathrooms, walk-in closets, maybe a living area over here and I'm gonna do a laundry and maybe just like a cleaning closet or storage. Bathroom over to the right corner and another bathroom right in the center here and then up we go to the third floor which if you've been following this backstory and all the lore we know that our couple that we're gonna be building for, Anna and Theo, which I haven't even showed you their makeovers. I made them into elders and they look so cute with their like cottage core outfits. This couple is very down to earth so the style we're gonna be building in is gonna reflect that today despite the fact that they're like billionaires now. They're hard workers so we have to reflect that on the third floor. We're gonna have skill rooms for every skill that they've had through their life. So they've made money through like cross stitching, gardening, knitting, juicing from eco lifestyle, candle making. We're gonna have a lot of skills on this floor so that is what we're looking at for the floor plan and the layout. I don't even know where to start. Let's maybe start over to the right. Let's get this long awkward hallway slash living room area out of the way. I think we can start in this area back here. This is gonna be I think like a library slash seating area, a study. We've got lots of light and windows so let's start here. So since we're left with such an awkward shape for this side, I think what I'm gonna have to be doing is like splitting the room in different ways. So I'm gonna use this bookshelf here from Realm of Magic. I think this is my favorite swatch for this and I'm gonna raise these so they're on top of each other and reaching the ceiling. So we'll do it like that and then on the other side I'm gonna be adding another one here too. I did something similar in their old house. I think the last house we built for this couple was the 750k one. They had this separation between their living room and like the rest of that entry area. So I'm bringing that element back in here. We're gonna do it with a different swatch and I think I can go a little bit overboard with my bookshelves here. These are pretty pricey too. They're almost like 2k. So we've got our separation there. That already looks really nice. I'm gonna get a desk. I think we could probably put a couple computers here so I'm gonna be doing I don't know what our color scheme is gonna be like yet I'm gonna maybe just pick some colors that I like for this for now I could see green coming in here for their final home let's do it two pricey computers there goes like 30k <laughs> we'll do a rug in the middle here I can put like a coffee table maybe since I use paranormal there we could get a paranormal coffee table and I think for this house I spent a lot of money on the exterior hence why we're at the 1.5 mil already and I did that so that I could decorate the inside of this house in a way that I like not only using like the really expensive items because not only are they really tacky but I just didn't want it to be like repetitive like from the other builds you know I want it to be in their style true to them so that's what we're doing here I'm gonna put these chairs which actually this color scheme might work so we'll do that there and then I have this like smaller area in the back maybe I can do like a chess table here I know those are pretty pricey so we can bring this in I think there's like a thousand dollar one yeah this one and we recently got some pretty expensive 
expensive, like nice office chairs or maybe not office chairs, but they're these 550 for these. I'm going to put that there. And actually while we're doing the chess table, you guys have been giving me some really great ideas in the comment section for this to spend money. And someone mentioned using knights sized down and put onto the chess table. That is genius. The only thing I'm worried about is this is as small as I can get it to go. So I'm going to raise this up and maybe it'll work. I think they're a little bit too big to be like actual chess pieces, but they could go here. Maybe I'll just put like two. I really liked that idea and thought it was clever. So we'll have our two there in honor of that. And before I go much further, I think I'm going to go onto the gallery. We're going to find some art to use in this build. Throughout a lot of this series, I've been finding art from Banshee HVO. And recently I followed another one on here. Catatron 16 is really great. So we're going to be using those two for our gallery art today. See, oh, this one has some beautiful art. I found this one last night. I was looking through. See, I'm kind of thinking something like this could work. Maybe with the plant pictures, we could bring in a little bit of yellow. This might be kind of nice. I'm going to download this. Maybe since those other pictures were so colorful, we can get something a little more muted. I like these a lot. I love their landscaping pictures they have on here. I'm going to download this. And then with this and the other one, and maybe like one more that I can find, we're going to have enough art to fill hopefully this whole thing. So I'm going to do a big picture over here, like right in front of my desk. And then I'll do another one. And then we can go in with our trick to frame these things. Because when you're building a really expensive mansion in The Sims 4, you'll find yourself using this artwork a lot and it gets repetitive. So what I've been doing throughout this series is using these as frames, because when you download things off the gallery, they either come with a really boring frame or no frame at all. And these are 8K each. We have graduated from the Vlad picture we've been using this entire time. And now we're going to be using these. I think it looks pretty anyway. So we'll do another one over on this side. Keep it kind of symmetrical. Oh, that's going to be so gorgeous with the garden in there and everything. It fits this family so well. Okay, I'm going to carry on over here. I'm not completely done with that side yet, but let's start doing this area here. I know I want to have a fireplace. This is going to be probably the main like seating area for the living room. I'm going to do the vampires one. I like the little details on there. We're going to get a really expensive 10K TV. I need a rug that's going to match the color scheme. Let's try like that for now. Maybe some sectional since this is a really big space that we're going to have to cover. We'll get a coffee table in the middle, something a little pricier. Maybe this jungle adventure one. We'll do some chairs over on this side here facing that way and maybe like some poofs. Let's do some poofs right here just for a space filler. I can also probably add some end tables to the end of this couch here. Let's do some matching ones from Jungle Adventure. This feels all too familiar to me right now. I'm currently trying to find like end tables and art for my new place and I'm kind of incorporating this like teal color into my color scheme here too so maybe there's a little inspiration from that. Let's grab some fancy lamps for here. Actually I really like these from Discover University. I wonder if the new Sims 4 high school pack is gonna have similar furniture to Discover University like that Ikea style minimal sort of but trendy. I could see that being a thing. I am so behind on all the like Sims 4 up and coming things but I do know I'm very excited for that Sims 4 high school pack. I had a piano in the old place so I think I'm gonna be putting a piano in this section since I don't really know what I wanted to put over here anyway. Kind of cool you can see the theater through there. Their old place also had a lot of these so I'm gonna be putting these in here. I'm not gonna go too overboard. <laughs> the lie alert just goes off. Okay so we'll have that. That's already looking really magical. I kind of want to like separate it a little bit so I'm gonna try and find that thing from spa day. The big divider this. I'm gonna use this but since it's not very tall and I don't want to size it up I'm gonna stack them on top of each other and make it look like a gate. I think this is gonna be a really pretty effect. A little weird maybe. It would be really cool and like <laughs> someone would probably have to make this into a DIY project but if they had like wheels on the bottom and they could like actually close this and open it up that'd be really interesting. Obviously make sure the candles aren't lit but let's take it one step further and make this so extra by putting a freaking waterfall in the background. I think it's spa day that has like a full length waterfall thing. This here, the deluxe free fall waterfall. I'm going to put this right in the center here and then 
move my pedestals over and then maybe get some like floor length curtains. Like possibly these all the way along the back. <gasps> that looks really pretty. Microphone, microphone. And now I'm just gonna add some plants to that area, I think. And like a hanging light maybe. Like I've been doing with all the other videos, I'm gonna be doing a walkthrough for each floor when we finish it. So don't worry if I skip ahead, we are definitely gonna cover it. I'm gonna move over to this part here. So this is the middle part here, the entry area where the loft is gonna be. I need to move this over and we're gonna make sure it's in the middle looking down. I think that might be good. And The Sims 4 is really weird about like fountains and everything. I wanted to put a fountain here, but it wouldn't let me. So what I'm gonna do is actually put a pre-made one and we're gonna make it look really cool when you first walk in here. So let's get maybe, I want one that's gonna fit. I don't want one that's gonna be too big. Honestly, maybe even just that. But then around here, similar to what we did in the museum build in this series, we're gonna make a small garden around there. So it's like really gonna catch the eye when we walk in. And in live mode, it's gonna look so gorgeous. I'm gonna use these window boxes, I think, for this part around here. So I'm just gonna rotate them and put them around maybe just the edges. And when I'm making my own like flower garden like this, this is gonna also eat up a decent amount of money. I've done this a few times throughout this series. Maybe if we even leave this like hanging over the side a little bit, there's like some plants that go over the edge. And then I'm gonna go in with these ones, 150 each, and we're gonna be putting these around the edge. So I'm gonna combine them and just go all the way along like this. I don't like this plant normally on its own, but I find myself using it a lot for like these floral arrangements that I've been making. So just gonna go all the way around to filling in all the gaps here. And then maybe we can also tie it together with like one more different kind of plant in here. I wonder if the sun flowers would look good. Like, I just want to put them on these corners here. Those, I know what they're supposed to be, but they look like hot dogs. All right, and now we're going to have a cute centerpiece that you're going to see when you're looking down from here. I love that. Okay, I'm going to leave the hallway for now. I think I'm going to go over to this spot, which is going to be a dining room. So big table right in the middle there. We're going to get some chairs. I think I'm going to keep it pretty basic for in here. Maybe just like a white, like neutral dining table, and then we can do colorful centerpieces. I think it would look really nice if we had a fireplace in here. It's just with my window placement, it's a little off center, but we can get our fireplace. I'll put like a nice mirror above there and then I can make that not look as awkward with some curtains, which by the way, curtains are the most annoying thing to buy. I did not realize until I had to spend like an hour in the store looking at different curtain lengths and measuring them. It is such a pain. Okay, so we have a mirror there, fancy decor going on. I need like a big rug to pull this together. There we go. And I think depending on what we end up doing for our kitchen, we can maybe add some different decor in here. Cottage Living has that like teal color. I know for like hutches and things. Oh, and also end tables. This is the exact color I was thinking. So maybe we could put this in here and play around with that. Like we can put this one here too. Maybe I can grab a picture from over here. I think a more subtle one. So I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna put that right there. And now I can add my very expensive frames. I think this is my favorite part. <laughs> my favorite thing to add are these. And then obviously we'll be adding plants in here like this maybe in the corner or near the fireplace and I think I should be adding like a chandelier I kind of wanted to add one near the piano too I love the one from the sims 4 spa day and there's two different varieties we could use this one oh yes I forgot we have the highest wall height too so that's gonna work perfectly I don't have to shrink it or anything and then maybe I'll bring another one either near the piano which this would look so pretty maybe like right there I love that that's a little bright I can probably delete a couple saucer lights and now the basics for our dining room is looking really cute. Let's move into the kitchen and kind of tie this all together. So rolling with the same color scheme, I know that we could either use cottage living counters, probably have the same swatch, or I know that the Sims 4 Vampires has this, which is such a beautiful swatch, but I never get to use it because it's so hard to match. Let's try and pull that off. So I'm going to add a double fridge moment. Don't think I'm going to go too crazy with the ones that I pick. And I'm also going to be pushing these back into the wall a little bit to get rid of that weird lip there. I have room to make a very big kitchen, so I might extend this like all the way back to this window. I'm gonna utilize all of my space. We need a dishwasher. And while I'm at it, I could probably put my oven right here. And then we'll take some island pieces instead and we can rotate this going this way. So we can have a little bit of island space. I could probably actually use this middle part here and add like some circular island pieces. So we can do like a circle piece here. I'm liking the layout there so far. And then for my sink, I could maybe put that on the island here just to free up a little bit of the counter space on that side because I want to put like a microwave, coffee maker, the whole bit. All right, so our layout is looking good. I just dimmed the lights a little bit. It was a little bright.
right? I'm gonna start to add some cabinet. Same thing from vampires in that same color. Ooh, and actually there's a little bit of pink clutter in there too. I like that. Okay, we're gonna bring some pink into this kitchen, literally just because of that item. Final thing, I'm gonna add the smoke detector and a trash can, and then we have all our basics. We can start to clutter, but I also think before I do that, I think back here, I'm gonna have room for a bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a huge bar, probably the most expensive one, like this one here. I like the silver top, but I don't like the silver paneling down below. I feel like it looks very like restaurant-y. So I'm gonna cover that up. I've done this trick in some builds before, but Eco Lifestyle has like a wooden panel. I think I'm gonna just cover the back with this, raise it up so that it's aligned into the back of the bar. I might have to delete some of my walls to make it work because this item is trying to clip to it, but that is gonna look really pretty with my bar here. Plus one of the residents of this home, Theo, is a mixologist, so we need to make sure we have this skill very prominent. Let's add some chairs. I'm gonna use those ones there, maybe the same ones here, or actually, because I'm gonna be using those over here as well, maybe I'll put like a half wall dividing back there and change those into counters. So just half wall back here, I'm gonna play around with it so that I don't have that lip showing. And then this over here, this is where I'm gonna be doing a pantry. So I'm gonna get some shelves. I think I might use the ones from Snowy Escape. I remember in one of our homes that we built for this couple, they had a pantry with these shelves. So we'll do pantry shelves pretty much all the way up to the ceiling here. It's gonna be a big pantry. And then I think I wanna use like some dream home decorator shelving in here. Like maybe these ones can go on the side so I can add like a lot of clutter in all of these. Each one can have like a different piece of storage. It could be cool if we put some counters back here too with like a sink maybe. And then I can put some more clutter back here. I can add like a VIP bucket, golden bowl of fruit. And here come the plants. I kind of don't really feel bad about going overboard with the plants in this build because we're dealing with gardeners after all. Like I'm pretty sure the upstairs is gonna have an indoor gardening area because I didn't really leave much space to do it outside. So actually we still have a bathroom back here. So we're gonna grab a $12,000 tub. Ye old faithful, we've been using the same furniture in these bathrooms. The bathrooms have been such a good spot for me to spend money. I can't pass up the opportunity, which is another reason why I've been doing so many random like normal builds lately instead of these ones. I was dying to just do a normal bathroom without a golden toilet, but we're gonna see a lot of it today. Here she comes into the build, making her way in there. We'll get a big mirror. I think I'm gonna get like this one and raise it all the way up. These are, yeah, 910 simoleons. We'll get some curtains in here. I actually don't mind how those cut off right before the bathtub. At least they won't be in the way. So we'll get curtains there and make that nice and cozy. I'll add some plants and some clutter. And then back here, this is going to be our wine cellar area, I think. I did separate it off with a cottage living door there because I had it open originally and I didn't really want it to be seen. This build isn't gonna have a basement. So this is gonna be kind of like our wine cellar area. It's at the back of the house. No one's really gonna come back here unless obviously they're like looking for something. Oh, and we can put barrels in here. A classic in this build series. The Sims 4 barrels, everybody. We love to see them. All right, general layout is done for the first floor. I'm gonna whip forward. We're gonna do the clutter and walk through and then we're gonna go up hit my mic. Then we're gonna go up to the second floor. So with all the clutter, this is gonna be the walkthrough for the first floor. It's all complete. At the entry, I did this small little seating area with a coffee table from the Sims 4 base game. I did a couch up on this platform with some end tables. And then over to this side, we have a small little cozy seating area, again, with a poof and some pillows. Over to the dining room, I added some more really pretty pictures, which look actually so nice with that color scheme on the fountain. Wait, we need to see the fountain in live mode. I don't really want them to come in yet so maybe I'll lock the door. There we go. So this is the main area we walk through and we have the dining room complete with some really nice big pictures, our chandelier, some clutter from cottage living. Very nice. Then through to the kitchen. The kitchen, honestly, this color scheme is one of my favorites. I love it. I added some pink clutter in there with some green. The bar back there looking really pretty too. Some more like cottage living clutter and barrel plants. Our pantry I filled up with so much clutter in here. We've got some, again, like pink stuff from Cottage Living, just pantry items all in those shelves. This is another look at the kitchen in here with some pink plants, our coffee maker, pretty much every appliance that you can have in here. And then through here is our bar area, which I love with that chandelier, so gorgeous. Let's move back out into the main area. Oh, actually our, <laughs> our wine cellar area, which is kind of basic, literally just like a whole bunch of wine on the walls. Through past 
rest of the fountain area. We've got our bathroom, just kind of basic. I added a little bit of decor in here. I like it. Very nice, very cozy. I ditched the 5K toilet. Honestly, I think we'll be okay. She says with a million simoleons to go. Through here, we're gonna have our living room and piano area. Okay, yeah, that looks really cool. Very subtle with that waterfall, but I quite like it. Through this way, we have our living room with our 10K TV. And past the living room is our library area, which I added a little bit of extra details in here. Nothing too crazy. Our study area with two desks. And in the background, we have, of course, our chess table. So now that we're done this, we can go upstairs. So up we go. And this is where we're going to be doing mostly bedrooms. So I'm going to have three bedrooms. Let's get started with maybe this one in the right corner. So this might be their main bedroom. I don't really know because there's no one else living here. So basically all of these rooms are going to be decorated in their aesthetic. But this one's pretty big. I am going to be making a walk-in closet right here too, which when I was mapping this out, I was picturing just like big doors and a very subtle like one tile closet, which I've seen done and actually looks really nice. So let's find some appropriately sized doors. These from Get Together could look really pretty. And then inside that closet obviously is going to be a lot of dream home decorator with their shelving and everything. We can add some dressers on the bottom. So like all the way across like that. And this is definitely going to be functional. I have done this before. They kind of just open the door like a closet and just like stand there. So it is a really interesting effect. We'll get our hanging shelves up there. I can add in some different ones too with like maybe the square ones instead. I think I'm going to keep the color scheme in here with some yellow, blue, and green. So my clothes are going to reflect that. I'm just picking items that have that color scheme. We can also add some yellow like shoebox clutter. I'm basically just bringing the yellow from like that bed with the green on it. We'll get some of these boxes. I'm filling it up and then checking how it looks from this side because really that's the purpose of this. That looks really cool so far. I do want to add maybe like some mirrors going around or we could do some windows to fully have that effect. Like I can do some tall windows all the way up to the ceiling. Maybe just these base game ones that opens up those cabinets. And then up top, I'm thinking I could either do like a slim window or some lighting, which I'm kind of leading towards like these up top. Okay, so we've got our closet taken care of. That took a little bit longer than I wanted, but it's a feature. But now for decor, all we have to do is match those colors. So obviously more plants, but I think I also have room to do a seating area in here. It's kind of big. Let's maybe bring in these. I love these chairs. They totally match. Little rug over to this corner. I'm going to roll with this like darker brown color. And actually, I think I'm going to put a mood light on there. This is a fairly new item from a Sims 4 base game update. And I always forget about it, but it's so pretty. I'm going to use this one here, maybe just in white. I love the glow it gives off. We could do an end table at the end of the bed like that. And underneath, I could add some more clutter. Nice matching picture on top there. I think also maybe some vases in here could look nice. And I could fill them up with some plants like this one. We can shrink just like that. That's a cute little hack there. And I think I'm going to leave this for now. We're not done yet, but I do want to move on and do the next bedroom over here. We still have so much money. So for this bedroom, I think I want to go for more of a warm tone. I was inspired by those vases we used on this side, like that orangey color. So I think I'm going to make this room a little bit more like that. We can do like boho overlapping rugs. I like the ones from Laundry Day all together. Like these ones overlapped, I think look really pretty. So I'm going to bring that one to the top and maybe just do that. Let's get Jungle Adventure Mirror in the corner and maybe I can add some chairs around there, like a little seating area. And part of me wants to do like a canvas in here. One of our skills that we loved was painting. So I'm going to bring in maybe just a canvas area over in this corner. And then to match the colors we have in here, I think I want to use again that Eagle Lifestyle wooden panel. This one in the default swatch plus like one with a different strip. Then we can go in and get that paint tray. This thing right here. I'm going to add some curtains. I've been using these ones from my wedding stories a lot. I think I'm going to keep with them. But then over top of those, I like to put these sometimes. I think it adds a cool effect. So let's incorporate some of those maybe along the top too. And then I think this room might look really cool with some like hanging lights as decor. So I want to get some gold, maybe copper hanging lights. I think the Journey to Batu ones could look cool if we like shrink them a little bit and put them in the corner. I like to decorate with these sometimes like with the different varieties of them. I just think they look so interesting and they add a different dynamic to the room with like ceiling art. I still have a little room over here. So I think I'm going to get a big dresser. Let's use one of these from Eco Lifestyle, the fabricated dressers. 825 for that. Not bad. And then we can do some shoe clutter right here. Let's add these. Maybe some Eco Lifestyle pictures since they're going to match. In terms of 
the clutter. I think this room is looking pretty good. I might just get like a picture on the wall and some end tables for the bed. But other than that, I quite like this room. I can't forget about laundry hampers. I need to be adding those in every bedroom. I do plan on having a laundry room. So we'll put one of those in here as well. And then for this bathroom in the middle, I made a little area for a walk-in shower. So I want to make sure we include that. We'll use the Discovery University shower head. And that's going to go just right on the side here. We can add some like windows and big sliding doors. Maybe these spotty ones. These ones are really nice for bathrooms. And we actually have a lot of room. I could do like full bathroom with a shower, a tub. I'm going to skip on the 12K one. I know, shocking. I think I just want to use like a regular black one like that. A bunny? There's a bunny outside? Oh, I'm coming. Bunny. I think I'm going to bring in some color in here with some yellow. We'll do yellow bathrobes and towels. Just like a picture in the corner maybe here from Dream Home Decorator. Ooh, let's add that thing. There we go. Okay, that area looks pretty cute. Then on this side, I think I could do like a big sink. I think I'm going to use the Perfect Patio counters. They have that black stone, which I think looks pretty in bathrooms. And then I could do a double sink moment. So sink there, sink there. And we'll do like yellow towels right in the middle to tie it all together. So just like that. I need a toilet. Again, I'm going to skip out on it. I'm going to skip the golden toilet. I'm over it. Let's do these over the sink. I'm going to shrink them so they're not as big. Okay, that's looking really cute. Final touches. We'll add a rug and maybe some curtains for my window. Cool. Okay, let's jump all the way over to the other side. We've got one more bedroom we're going to do in the back here. And I have this idea. I think this could look cool. My Winning Stories has those big, beautiful arches. These. And I wonder if that would look cool as like a headboard. <laughs> Let's try it. If this looks weird, we won't keep it, but I'm going to put one there and I'm going to pick a bed that matches. Let's do the one from Eco Lifestyle, maybe, which is actually perfect because the headboard wood matches that. Wait, I think we're onto something. So we've got that there and then I'm going to tie it together with some sort of end tables like along that wall, like maybe these from Dream Home Decorator on that side. And then I can go in with the smaller end table to match. And then what if I added even another small one? <laughs> I don't know. I think we're I think that that looks really cool. I'm gonna leave it. Could be another one of my curtain ideas, but I quite like that. Let's add a city living rug sized up underneath. Maybe this could be their main bedroom because I plan on going heavy, heavy plants on this. Like hanging plants there. I think I'm gonna raise up some plants and put them on these end tables. We could maybe even get like a shelf up here and add more plants. Let's do some ottoman or end table at the end of this bed. Maybe we could do like a double of these. And then I think I have room to mount a TV here. So we're gonna go and get one of those big TVs again. And then underneath, we'll just put a table or something because I still have this area for the walk-in closet in this room. So let's get a table of some kind here. I can add some like laundry there. I love getting those super cozy baskets of blankets. Like this one is super cute. The other one from Cottage Living is adorable too. For the walk-in closet, I think I want to do a stand-up mirror in the corner. I actually quite like this one here from like the kids room stuff pack. There are some basic swatches in here that don't have stickers on them. So I've been using that one a little bit lately. I'm going to put that there. We can get a nice comfy rug. Maybe we'll keep this one kind of simple. I can just get some shelves and put those across. I hate that the dream home decorator shelves for closets are not in here. I mean, it makes sense for them to be elsewhere, but I always go to the clothes section first before finding these. So just maybe it's three shelves along the top. I'll fill that up with clothes. Of course, we'll get like the hamper and everything we need for the closet. And then for our bathroom, of course, we're going to get that pricey tub. I skipped out on it once, but I think I'm going to keep bringing it back because I still haven't hit under a mill yet. And I'm going to aim for like the earthy tones in here too. So maybe we could get like a cats and dogs rug with those green tones. Then on the other side, we can do a fancy sink. This one maybe in bronze could match pretty well. Actually, that looks cute. Matching mirror. We'll get our toilet. I'm skipping it again. I'm skipping it. I'm sorry. I have faith that the top floor is going to be very expensive with all those skill items. I don't feel bad about sacrificing our budget to make the rest of the house aesthetically beautiful. Okay, I'm going to leave this for now. I still have so much to cover. I need to fix my curtains down below because they are peeking on through my floor. For the hallway, I think I'm going to be adding just very basic pictures, some end tables, but I do want to make sure that I get my laundry room right in this little nook here. So I'm going to be adding my laundry stuff, which could eat up a little bit of money. It would even be nice to have some curtains in here so you could like cover that. But we'll get our clutter. This is like the go-to laundry clutter. It's like the only stuff we have, so it always makes it onto my laundry bins. But just like basic 
basic little things like that in there. And then in here, I was thinking we could add vacuums. We're gonna need at least a few of them for this house. It would suck vacuuming this thing. If anyone downloads this, first of all, be careful. And second, if you do download it, <laughs> turn off the dust bunnies if you've got them. But we'll have our army of vacuums there. Ooh, maybe we could do like this in the corner. That's supposed to be a dresser, but I feel like it could pass as like a storage cabinet or something. There's like towels down there. We could even put some end tables on the other side and add some extra cleaning stuff. Basically just take them all. Take all of these, every brand we have. Okay, so that's taken care of. I can add a lot of the clutter in there if needed. And then in the back part here, I think I might just add another seating area slash like fireplace. We'll have a living area on each floor probably. So let's do something over here. I think I'm gonna add some bookshelves on this wall. We could do some more seating next to this window here. These expensive bookshelves can go here. I'm gonna stack them up. I am not going downstairs until we get under a mill or upstairs. God, I'm losing it. Those look nice there, I think. I like the orange in there. We'll get some end tables. I really like these rounded ones. I want these for like my house. Maybe we could do a gallery wall of mirrors. Let's see if I could combine three different mirrors that I like on here. I think it could look pretty. So we'll do that one. Maybe this tiny living one and maybe a thicker one. Like we could do this one here, which also has default stickers on it. But underneath we have a plain round mirror. I think that looks kind of pretty. We tie that area together with a rug. I think I'm going to put some lamps over here since it is more so a reading area. Like the tiny living lamp could look good in the corner. And then on the other side, right around the corner here, I think I have room for a fireplace like right in the middle of those two archways. This would be more of a chill like family area, I think. Like if we had family over, everyone could come and watch TV here. Or even if they're watching TV before bed, it's nice and close. So we'll do a fireplace there. I am going to mount a TV, I think. Big rug and just like a regular couch facing there. Cool. Okay. So the rest of this we have left is hallway. I hate filling hallway space. It's so hard, but I'm going to do that. I'm going to clutter this up and we are going to move on to the next floor. So this entire upper floor is complete. This is what our hallway is looking like right when you get up the stairs. I added those there from Eco Lifestyle. I thought it looked really pretty matching with these debug crystals over there, some plants. This space here, I do plan on doing the upstairs indoor garden, but I wanted to add some plant boxes, just like empty ones. Maybe she plans on planting some pretty flowers for decor. I don't know. We've got some more pictures on the wall with some different frames. I used this bronze one for that. I thought that one looked quite nice there. And then all the way around this side, I did end up making another seating area in the back here with some bookshelves stacked up. We've got some more paintings, some barrels, and outside was just like a floral arranging table. So not really a formal crazy balcony, but I just added some like little storage spaces here for like plants and whatever. Our living space back here turned out pretty cute. I added some clutter, those lamps again from downstairs, and just some neutral pretty end table items like this tree here from Snowy Escape. Back here I added some more of those landscaping paintings that we love, some hanging plants to our reading area over on this side, and in here this bathroom actually ended up really cool. I should have done this on camera, but I kind of got carried away with it. I used these rain chains here which I connected to some lanterns from back here stuff. I added a windowsill with a candle there. We do have our golden toilet, some green pictures, and our gold sink over here with some green towels. I love the lighting in here. It looks really nice. Moving out, we've got our cleaning area, which this has like some supply stuff. I added like a keg in there. We've got a bucket, some hampers, of course, a barrel. Our laundry room, pretty basic in there, just like some plants again. Our bedrooms though, turned out really good. This was the last bedroom we did with the My Wedding Stories archway, and I love of this. I feel like this should be our main room. So colorful in here with those paintings, the greenery, and the color of the wood just looks so nice. On this side, I added a TV, some cottage living basket of pillows, and I added the werewolves mirror on there with some green statues as well to tie it all together. This ended up way better than I expected. I'll probably use the other ones as archways over the bed too, but cool little trick there. And then in here, this is what our closet looks like. Kind of cozy in here. I think I like this one. I don't know which one I like better actually this one or the big like walk-in closet we did at the other side. So we've got that there and then in here our bathroom pulling it all together with so much greenery and plants but very cute. I quite like this one. I think this will be the main bedroom. Going across the hall into our first main bedroom. This is what it ended up looking like. It's a little bit less cluttered in here which makes me think it could be a guest room but still not lacking on the plants. We've got our decor in here. Our walk-in closet actually looked really pretty and I pulled it together with this bronze mirror from Get Famous with a little
called Poo from Cats and Dogs. And overall, yeah, I think this one does look very clean and just the right amount of clutter to make it a really good guest room. Going into the bathroom, the bathroom, I didn't add too much more clutter, but we have our hanging lights in there, which brought it all together. The blinds from my first pet stuff and our walk-in shower. And then over to this room, this one's really cozy too. This one reminds me a little more of Anna with like the paintings and everything. I added some more wall decor on this side, our eco lifestyle dresser. And yeah, I think definitely my favorite one is that archway from my wedding stories. That might be my favorite room in this build so far. So finally, we are under a mill. We're around 800K that we have to spend on the third floor. So let's go up and figure out how we're gonna do this. So skill rooms I need, I think I might place items in here to keep track. We're gonna do indoor garden room, which I think is gonna be this big one here. So I'm gonna just put these as a placeholder to remember. So indoor garden, this room here, I think I was planning on doing a crochet room. We did pick up crocheting. So we can add our crochet basket in there for now. I'm gonna have to download some really pretty wall decor for that. Then in here, I think this might be a creativity room. It matches the other one. So let's get an easel. We can put like tarps down. This can just be a nice like painting room. Then over here, this is where I was planning on doing the candle making and the juicing from Eco Lifestyle. So we could do candle making maybe over on this side here and then the juicing over here. This is probably gonna be another seating area. We could add maybe some computers in here. Back here, I was thinking could be a gym. You guys were leaving some comments saying that gym equipment can be pretty expensive. So I was thinking we could like bring that in here maybe. I don't think I've done a gym in any of these builds yet that I can think of. I don't think I have. Even just placing all those items, I just managed to spend 11K. So I am hopeful we can do this. And then another thing you guys mentioned was a vault. Get Famous has a vault door. They also have a pre-made vault, but I think I'd rather make my own. So we'll add this door here. Oh, what if we, okay. I think when I was planning this, I had an idea to do the vault here, which is backwards. Vault door here, but it's gonna be secret. It's gonna be hidden. We can put like a library door right there or like the hidden bookshelf door, this one. And this is going to be the secret entryway to the vault, which you still have to go through the vault door to get to the vault. Okay, I think the vault is probably gonna be the last thing we do because we can just go crazy adding gold bars and stuff. So let's maybe start with our garden room. Okay, so garden room, I wanna get some warm lighting. I think I might use some cottage living lights. Like these ones here, we can probably fit like two or three of these. We could do a floral arranging table right there in the middle and maybe something else on top of another rug. I loved how these cats and dogs rugs looked in the bathroom downstairs. So I'm gonna add two of these. I know Cottage Living has some cute stuff. Like they have some cute shelves and decor. So we could add this one here. And I love this one shelf with the gardening things on there. Like this one with the watering can. So I'm gonna put that over there. This one, which already comes with clutter on it. So that's perfect. I do want this room to be a little bit messy. So I'm looking for the new Sims 4 werewolves plants. Like these ones in the buckets and stuff. I love these. I think they look so cool. I'm gonna put those right in the corner there. This is gonna be a pretty, pretty busy room, I think. If we're gonna do indoor garden, we're gonna need a lot of space for this stuff. And I'm thinking about putting these along the back. Actually, what we could do is line this with those. And then on the other side of the wall, we could add a window. And then when you walk through the hallway, you're gonna see these things just as decor. So we'll just grab like a big eco lifestyle window and put it right behind these. <gasps> that looks even cooler. I kind of like it just like that. And then I could put like a desk there or something that creates its own little area. I'm gonna put a desk there so I don't forget. <laughs> and then to finish off this room, I think I'm gonna get the Blooming Rooms kit. There's like a big plant holder, this, but I never use it. It's really bulky and kind of weird looking to me for some reason. It looks like one of those like rubber items. You know, when people say Sims 4 items look kind of rubbery, this is one of them. <laughs> but I think I could fill this up with a ton of plants and just kind of distract from that idea. I think these from the Sims 4 werewolves could look really pretty. There's like some butterfly pictures. I think there's actually some, yeah, like branches and flower pictures. So that can go there. And now all I need is something to go in that corner, like hanging plant, maybe a bucket of plants, like debug stuff. So for now, our indoor garden room is coming together. I think I'm gonna move on to the crochet room because I'm very excited about this. I'm gonna look up something on the gallery that I can download because some people upload these just like they do with custom paintings. They'll upload the custom crochets. 
for cross stitching. I think it's cross stitching, not the crochet. I did this one time in a video and you guys got mad at me. It's cross stitching, I'm sorry. But there's custom ones of these too. So I'm gonna try and find some to download. Actually, fun fact too, you don't even need The Sims 4 Cottage Living to download this. That is definitely a hack. Actually, this is from Catatron 16, that account that I was talking about earlier. They have these really pretty styles for the cross stitching. I'm gonna put these in there and just put a whole bunch of them on my wall. I actually like them stacked up like that. So maybe I'll do like one whole strip down the middle here, another one down on this side, and then another one right on the other. Then we can make this room look really pinky. I can go in and get like a pink rug. Maybe this one from Cottage Living will get some chairs. Ooh, also from Cottage Living, we could bring in that yellow, some jungle adventure end tables there, and now I can finally get rid of the cross stitch thing in the middle of the room. We'll add some plants on there, and I think I could actually bring in some like knitting stuff in here too. Oh, this room is so pretty. I don't know which one is my favorite. Let me know by the end of this which room you guys prefer. We'll do this here from Cats and Dogs on that side. I'm gonna get my nifty knitting filter on and make sure we have the bag for the knitting. That was another hobby we brought up at the other house. So I'm gonna bring this in here. We can put this in the corner. Some more of these cross stitch things can go on there. Ooh, a rocking chair could look nice in one of the corners. And then the bag, the knitting bag is what you need for your Sims to actually knit. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this over in the corner. Maybe I can get one more table for the other side, just like that. And I think I might put up some extra decor, just like a mirror over here. All of Anna's rooms throughout this have been a little bit on the messier side. So this is totally fitting. I think I'm gonna leave it like that for now. I'm gonna go across the hall and do a creativity room in the exact same style. I love building creativity rooms in The Sims 4. They're probably some of my favorite kinds of rooms to build. So we're gonna get these on each side. I like that there's two in here. You could have two projects on the go. We'll do a table right in the middle there. I want to get a tarp. I don't think we would be painting inside making a big old mess in our $3 million mansion. <laughs> we'll do this one here from City Living in nice and bright with that yellow. I'm going to put a few bundles of canvases because I am really desperate to spend money at this point. We'll get some hanging plants in these corners. I think I might, I might put some mirrors back there too. Whenever I have a little bump out like that, I always put some kind of mirror in it. I think it makes it look not as hollow. I want to do some more leaning pictures on the wall, like maybe these, or I could bring these even out into this room somewhere. And then the eco lifestyle ones can go in this corner for some added detail. And even though they're not going to use them, I'm going to put some stools here, maybe just like right near the easel. And then I think city living is the pack with the paint cans. Yeah, this clutter I'm going to put right underneath there. This is looking really cute so far. I do plan on putting up some more paintings, but for now, this is what we got for our paint room. I think we'll do the gym next because I want to get this one out of the way with the expensive items. So we've already got this in here. I think I'm going to add a rug and make this area come together a little bit. Gyms I find kind of hard to make look unique. That's why I don't really build them too often. Like there's a million and one versions of this exact same machine, but we can change it up with this punching bag, which actually is pretty pricey. Let's grab some vintage glamour mirrors because that has been a theme with these ones. And I can also put some TVs in here actually. Wait a minute. This whole back panel will get the vintage glamour mirrors and then in front of the treadmill, I think I'm gonna put two expensive TVs. So one there and then one here. There goes 20K. Maybe a bench from Spotty there and some plants. I haven't used these here yet, but I actually really love how these look. Maybe I'll put these in here and line them up just for some decor along this wall there. Kind of inspired by the other room that I did. We'll get some hanging plants over in that side. And I think what I'm gonna do is the bathroom in here, which you know is gonna get that tub. I have no freaking option here, honestly. Gold toilet, pricey tub. I really don't wanna have to go back and replace the other one. <laughs> so all of our basics in the bathroom. And then I think what I'm gonna do is jump over to this room here. And we're gonna have to figure out how to divide this one because it's another really long room. But I think bringing back that spot item could be really nice. The same one we use downstairs, like the divider, then that's gonna separate the juice area and I can use our barrels as our end tables. This room again, like I've done so many of these juice rooms at this point. I'm gonna again, just be using some shelves and going in eco lifestyle debug. We're gonna be stacking up all these juices, which fun fact, your Sims can drink these and get like mood lit boosts. This is actually a really cool skill 
to have. We'll do the boxes on the floor, the packaged containers. This is like a full blown business at this point. This family has made a lot of money doing this. So then this section of the room can get like a bigger rug, kind of like a rough looking one, like the laundry day one could be good. This is really testing my skill at dividing room. <laughs> big mansions are hard that way. That's honestly one of the biggest intimidation points for me for big mansions is like splitting up these rooms. But this actually hasn't been too bad today. So candle making station, I think I might also bring in a woodworking table. Like the woodworking table can go on this side and then we have two things we could do in here. And then over here, I think I wanna stack up some candles. So I'm gonna put this here from laundry day and in there, I'm gonna be putting all of the debug equal lifestyle candles, which I don't think are lit. So putting all of them into this like wooden shelf unit won't make me feel that bad. Yeah, no flame, even though, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's just like not gonna light on fire anyway. Yeah, and then I'm gonna fill all of this up with these pretty candles that we're gonna sell. I'm gonna move this over slightly so I can put something in that corner. I'm thinking a combination of plants or even like this could look good. Snowy escape one is more so what I was thinking. So I'm gonna do that in maybe the pink swatch. We could add a trash can in here. I feel like this room would get like pretty messy in real life. All these projects and stuff to be worked on. So I'm gonna put one trash can here. Some boxes and things getting ready to be shipped off could be nice in here. I feel like I've been filming for so long that my voice is going. Okay, so we've got the general layout of this room and now we're gonna work on the vault. I'm so excited for this one because we are gonna be spending so much money in here. Let's get some curtains. I think I'm gonna fill the whole room with them, honestly. Privacy for our vault room, please. So these ones from Get Famous, I've been using these quite a bit. I'm gonna wrap them all the way around and I think I'm gonna fill up this room with like counters, maybe some jungle adventure ones and I can put them all the way around this entire room. And then these are gonna be filled with all of our golden items. I'm gonna go in debug. I'm gonna bring my counters all the way up to the edge of these curtains. And then I think I might add another wall, separate this part off just for like looks basically. And then I can add some more counters with some cabinets on this side. So we'll bring our counters in here. Maybe I'll add some like mirror in there with just some slim cabinets up top. And basically this is setting the stage for all of our items. So I think I'm gonna leave this till the end. I am gonna make it look a little more bougie by adding some columns onto those wall pieces we added. Ooh, that's fancy. We have a fancy vault to finish this off. Okay, I'm gonna clutter up the rest of this house. We're gonna finish up the hallways and everything, do that walkthrough, and then we are gonna finish this off with a nice expensive vault. All right, this house is almost complete. We have over 500,000 to go, but I'm pretty confident I can put that in the vault. This is what our house is looking like now. So we've got our hallway complete. I added another computer here in front of our really pretty plant wall. I added just like a seating area, pretty basic like space down here. Our indoor garden room looking so cozy, honestly, with that warm lighting. I added some extra clutter over there from Journey to Bad 2, some hanging plants, some Realm of Magic pictures. And then over to this side, I did some more shelving there because I wanted to add a little bit of the juice. These two kind of go hand in hand because to make the juice, you actually need like fruit and vegetables and stuff. So that could be grown in here. So just a little bit of storage up there. Maybe those are for personal use. I don't know. Some more plants and clutter all over this place. Across the hall, we have our paint room, which I put up the painting. They look so nice in here. This is our creativity room. I love these pictures. I added some fairy lights up there from Parenthood. We have more paintings over to this side. And of course, our eco lifestyle paintings on the wall. This room, the cross stitch room, definitely my favorite on this floor, I think. It's so pretty with the color scheme in here. Very like desert vibes, but then I have some like projects going on, some colorful projects, some shelving. I wanted to put more of the nifty knitting stuff in here, but the color swatches weren't really matching with like this soft tone that I have in here. So, but this is what we got. Those cross stitch things are so pretty. Then through here down to the end of the hallway, we have our candle making slash woodworking slash candle making room. Pretty cool in here. It's kind of giving like garage vibes, which is cool. We don't actually have a garage in this build or a basement. So that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting in here. All our storage over here, our juice, our barrels, our secret, not so secret door over there. Down at this end of the hallway, I just added another seating area. Again, I've got a fireplace over there, some chairs, some knights guarding the door some more storage, like paintings and stuff. I have this really pretty thing, which I wanted to put on the indoor garden, but I didn't have the room for it. And then this is leading into our gym area, which our gym actually turned out pretty cool. I added some speakers in here. We've got some hanging plants from Tiny Living, some spot A plants in here as well, 
and some laundry bins. Our bathroom, this bathroom is pretty basic. It's probably the most basic one we have in the house, but we've got that there so you can go in the bath after you're done in the gym. And I think that's all of it. The final room we have to do is the vault and the vault, it's gonna get pricey. We're gonna go straight to debug first, I think. And this is gonna be fun. Gold bars galore. These are like 6K each. We're gonna watch that money just evaporate. Now I'm not gonna go too overboard in here. I'm not gonna be stacking things up. I'm gonna be placing them just freely on the counters. I also wanna add some of these as if they're like money clippings. Like outside, if you didn't see part one, I ended up making some money trees with those. I like added them into the trees as like a flower. So I'm gonna put these in here, but I'm gonna find that gardening clutter as if these were like trimmings that were taken. And I have just spent almost 100K in like just this one area. Like I'm gonna put these near those so it looks like they've just been like cut down off the tree. I think I'm only gonna do gold items in here so we can do like trophies. We can do Princess Cordelia somewhere. Ooh, these bars of gold. I kind of forgot about those. They can go, they can go near these other ones. We'll just stack up the gold. On this side, we can add our good old friend, the dinner plate at like $10,000 a piece. And our golden frogs, also so expensive. So with everything in my vault, this is what it's looking like. I did a combination of these treasure chests, the plates, Princess Cordelia, gold bars galore. I mean, this family is loaded. They needed at least a small vault. This is a small vault compared to the ones that I have done before. I have one more thing I have to add, which is probably going to be Princess Cordelia. And with that, that is the final amount of money that we needed for this $3 million mansion in The Sims 4. This took me so freaking long, but Anna and Theo's final home is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I put so so much time into this build and I will be putting it on the gallery under Sydney Macaretta if you do want to download it. Again, be careful if you do. I'm telling you, it will be very slow and laggy. But we have one more build after this. We still have to do the one next door and I need to turn this thing around so it's actually facing the front before I forget. So there it is in all of her glory. We have one more lot left, which is this one over here, which is even bigger actually than the last one. What should we do? Should we do four mil, jump up to the four mil for this final? build. Let me know. It's going to be the final house that we build for Bloomcrest. Our Sims 4 build series is coming to an end. If you guys are enjoying this, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.